in the news, Biden announces tragedy in Kentucky following deadly tornadoes. UK confirms first Omicron variant-related death. Talking sports, Sudan fires coach valued over poor showing at ongoing FIFA Arab Cup 2021. Data shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan African news network. I am Mesafal Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. U.S. President Joe Biden on Sunday, barely two days after authorities said more than 30 tornadoes tore across seven U.S. states, leaving a trail of destruction that was still being assessed, declared a major federal tragedy in Kentucky, releasing more aid to the hard-hit state after a swarm of deadly tornadoes ripped across the country's central region. While the overall death toll remained unclear and could still rise as of Monday, at least six people had been killed in Illinois with four dead in Tennessee and two in Arkansas, according to local officials. Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Sunday confirmed United Kingdom's first Omicron variant-related death, noting that the new variant was resulting in hospital admissions and the best thing people could do is get their booster jab. According to Johnson, people should shove the idea of Omicron is a matter variant. On Sunday, the Prime Minister set a new target for all adults in England to be offered a booster by the end of the month. Palestinian political leader Sheikh Raid Salah has been released from a prison in Israel after serving 17 months on charges of incitement. Salah, a Palestinian citizen of Israel and former head of the Northern Islamic Movement, was released from Megiddo prison on Monday morning. On Sunday night, a gas tanker exploded at a filling station on Onisha Enugu Expressway, Anambra, burning vehicles and other valuables. The LPG tanker, which exploded at about 7.30 p.m., spread fire to the two other filling stations and a mechanic workshop with vehicles in the area TOS TV in Lent. Martin Agbili, director of Anambra State Fire Service, disclosed to journalists that the explosion threw the environment into panic due to the fire caused by the incident. 16 people have been confirmed dead in a road crash on Sunday by Yusuf Abdullahi, the sector commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps in Bauchi State. The accident, which involved an articulated truck and a commercial Toyota Homer bus, happened in Mambal village on Kanu Jamare Road at 7 p.m. He said the sector commander attributed the accident to a speed violation. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television. You're watching TOS News 360. More national business and sports to return. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. Nigerian ruling party, the All Progressives Congress, APC, has fixed Saturday, February 19, 2022, as possible date for its highly anticipated national convention. TOS News learned that a respected member of the party hinted about a date, however noted that the date has not been communicated to other party members and stakeholders. He added that it was agreed at the highest level of the party to hold a national convention on February 19, 2022. In North South Africa, where President Cyril Ramaphosa tested positive for COVID-19 on Sunday, though is showing only mild symptoms and receiving treatment, the presidency said. The president started feeling unwell after leaving the state memorial service in honor of former deputy president F.W. de Klerk in Cape Town earlier today, the statement added. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC, has announced that its trading surplus increased to 141.96 billion naira in June 2021 at recorded total revenue of hit 894.64 billion naira that month, compared to a deficit of 37.64 Four six billion naira recorded in May. The announcement was contained in a statement by the NNPC's Group General Manager, Public Affairs Division, Garba Dean Mohammed, on Sunday. With just four weeks onto the African Cup of Nations, Nigeria has appointed Technical Director Augustine Eguavern as interim coach after sacking Genot Raw. It will be the former international defender's third stint in charge of the Super Eagles after managing the team from 2005 to 2007 prior to another stint as caretaker coach in 2010. As a player, the 56-year-old represented the Super Eagles at the 1994 and 1998 World Cups. Sudan's sacks coach veered ahead of Afghan 
The Sudan Football Association has fired national team coach Hubert Villiud after Sudan's poor showing at the ongoing FIFA Arab Cup 2021. Sudan lost all the three group matches, considering 10 goals and scoring none. The SFA Executive Committee meeting agreed on Sunday to terminate Villiud's contract and appoint local caretaker coach Bohantia to handle the team during the upcoming AFCON. Villiud's dismissal comes just four weeks before the Falcons of Jiden start their Total Energies Africa Cup of Nations Cameroon 2021 campaign. Sudan qualified to the continent's flagship competition for the first time since 2013. And with Ethiopia, they are the only two teams from the Kekafa zone in the impending Total Energies African 2021. And that is TOS News 60 on your digital first Pan African News Network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy my programs on the network. I am Merciful. Ajinimo, thanks for watching.